Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 60357, Stunt Truck and Ring of Fire Challenge from the LEGO City theme. This set contains 479 pieces, 3 minifigures, and will retail for $59.99 in the US. This set does not officially release until March 1st, 2023, but it was sent to me early by the LEGO group through the LEGO Master Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. In case you missed it, I'm doing early reviews of all four of the March 2023 LEGO City Stunt sets, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I also want to apologize for my voice because I'm currently recovering from COVID, so if anything sounds a bit weird in this video, that's why. But with all that being said, let's get on to this review. So here is the Build of the Ring of Fire challenge, and this is probably one of the better looking LEGO City stunt sets. It's one of the stunt sets that has a bit more to actually play with, because a lot of times the stunt sets really only work with the bikes and nothing else. But of course, with this set, you get like this truck out the front, and then the trailer, which is the actual stunt course. So there's just a bit more to do with it than your standard set. So let's take a look at it up a little bit closer. So starting at the front of the truck, I really love how this design gives off like major like monster truck vibes. It's got four of these flames shooting out the side, these flames are also used in another LEGO City stunt set from this wave, and you can see they're actually dual molded in this like sparkly trans purple and trans orange. That's a really cool color combination that I'm very happy to see, just super unique. It really helps give these sets their own look. I've actually been informed though that this piece is not new for this set, it came in a Harry Potter set from last year, but I'm very happy to see that part coming in other themes, because yeah, I think that is a fantastic piece. Very, very cool color. These two engine parts poking out the top look nice, and I love the spinning blade in the center that's sort of hidden away behind the gray. Very creative way that the designers did that, and I think it looks really good. Now moving back, you can see those little steps for minifigures to get up into the vehicle. Then of course there's little doors that open, those are on both sides. And you can see in the interior there's a steering wheel for a minifigure to actually drive the car, and then studs to fit two minifigures inside. Happy to see that it can fit two minifigures, because you don't always see that, but that is a very nice touch. And then at the very back you have a magenta and lime green spoiler. I think the color scheme of this set's very fun. It definitely fits in pretty well with the whole Ring of Fire theme. And then at the very end you can see there's another license plate, as well as a place to attach the trailer. The trailer can be removed if you want, so you can just have the truck drive around on its own, and there's the front that looks detached. You can see the trailer itself is huge, but this part at the very end can swivel, so that way it can turn with the truck turning. But anyway, yeah, now let's take a look at the trailer. The actual build of the trailer is very simple, just flat with the three rings on it, but the interesting parts are definitely these stickers on the sides. You can see there's an advertisement for a hot deal, two for one for fire extinguishers, of course to stick with the fire theming of the set. Then there's stickers that just say stunt show, which obviously fits really well with the sub theme. And then the final sticker on this side is an advertisement for hot sauce, which this one's actually quite cool. You could probably take that off and put in like a custom Jagger City or something as like an advertisement. Then on the other side you have an advertiser for crispy marshmallows, then you have the stunt show stickers again, and then at the very end you have an advertiser for Rocket Racer and it says number one racer, of course referencing the Rocket Racer character both from LEGO Racers and from other LEGO City stunt sets. But now coming up to the actual ring pieces, I mean there's not a ton to them. They're just the LEGO City stunts ring piece but in orange, and then they have three fire pieces attached to them. They are that same new fire piece with the purple at the bottom which I do really like. I love that you get so many in this set. I think a total of 13. But yeah, I mean, they're just rings for the bikes to jump through. They're attached very loosely so that they can be easily removed. So that way you can rearrange them, put them all closer to each other or further apart if you want. Do I guess have different levels of difficulty? There's of course a total of three of them. And then of course at the very end, there's a ramp for the bike to get up and actually jump through the rings. And this can be hinged up when the ramp's not in use. And that reveals one more license plate out the back of the trailer. But yeah, that's about it for the build. So now let me show you how it actually works with the bike. Here's the stunt bike that you get in this set. And yeah, this one's nothing all too special. It's not one of the stunt spikes that has any printing, so as such, it's just not that interesting. Also, you have two races in the set, but only one bike, which is a little bit lame. With how overpriced Legacy like, stunts are, I kind of wish it came with two bikes instead, but I guess it's fine, whatever. The stunt spikes are, of course, flywheel bikes, so what you do is you charge it up and let it go, and they'll sort of go on their own which is definitely a ton of fun to play with. But now let me show you how it works with the actual course. Very simple with this one, of course. You're just supposed to charge it up and try to get it to hop through all three rings. So let's see if I'm able to do that here. Nope. There we go, I did it. I feel like I went through at a bit of a weird angle, but it definitely got through that time. Let's see if I can do it one more time. Yeah, okay, not that difficult. Whoa, okay, that was off camera, but just another flip up the light box. That was pretty cool. So yeah, this is probably one of the easiest LEGO City Stunts courses. Some of them are more difficult, take more time and effort to put into them. This one though, very simple to get to work. So I mean, it is fun, there's play to be had here. But I'll talk about all that more at the end of this video. For now, let's take a look at the minifigures and then I can give you my overall thoughts. So here are the first two minifigures in the set. We have two bikers, and these guys both have interesting designs. First we have this one who uses like the new biker helmet with horns piece, but instead of attaching like actual horns back here, he has two little flames coming out. 
That I think is a really interesting choice. And while I don't think it looks the best, it feels a little clunky at the base. I think it's a fun idea at the very least. And I think you'd very easily customize this character to be a bit cooler. But of course he also just has a plain black visor that flips down. Or when you flip it up, you can see his face. His torso print though, I actually really like. He's just got a biker jacket on that has like this flaming design with these black streaks. I think it just looks really good. The uh, back torso print though, a little bit disappointing. Just the solid black. I don't know, it feels a little bit lame. But no, I think the front of this looks really good. Definitely not the most exciting biker figure of like any of these stunt sets. But I still think it's a fairly solid one, and I do like it. And then the other biker is also on the more generic side. However, I still think she's fairly solid. I really like the use of the neon yellow in the torso. I think that's a fun splash of color that fits really well with the white. And then they've got like the Lego sports brand logo on the jacket. That's a cool bit of world building. And then her helmet is actually like the Lego City Space helmet, which is a cool way to mix up the biker helmets. And you can see her torso design does fit with the design of that helmet. But I think the torso is definitely the most interesting part about this figure, because the rest of it is just kind of plain and generic. Just lots of plain and solid colors. I mean, these two are both fine and they fit together and I do like the figures but comparing it to some of the more detailed figures in other city stunt sets I don't know these are not ones I'm super passionate about but of course just like all other city stunts figures these two do come with alternate hair pieces as well the male character comes with Zane's movie hair piece in black that I believe is introduced for the Black Panther 2 wave and I think it only came in one set so it's really nice to see that reprinted in another theme so if you missed out on that Black Panther set this is a nice new way to get that hair piece and I think it is a fantastic one happy to see it's finally coming in more colors and then the female hair piece I believe originated on the like Spidey and Friends 4 plus line. It was used in brown on Doc Ock and I think it was recolored in this color for the foosball table set but of course that set was very expensive so once again I'm happy to see it being reprinted because I think it is a fantastic hair mold. When it was introduced for Doc Ock I really wanted it but I still haven't gotten around to getting that set so I'm really happy to be able to get it in a different color thanks to this set and I think it fits this character pretty well too. But I think that's about all I have to show you on these two. They of course also come with a trophy as the accessory to I guess give to the winner of this competition. And then the other minifigure in this set is a firefighter because of course this is the ring a fire challenge he comes with a little fire extinguisher as an accessory and i mean this guy's nice to get but he is just a fairly generic firefighter minifigure not a ton to say about him comes with just a generic dark blue hat a very very common face print for lego city with just the glasses but i mean it makes sense for him to be here he definitely wasn't necessary but i'm happy he was included he does have a good design i like the bright orange and the neon printing does look good too but very similar figures of this have just come in lots and lots of sets but overall what are my thoughts of this set i don't know this one's one that i'm more conflicted on some of the other city stunt sets are just so overpriced I'm like no never buy this this one though the price isn't nearly as bad 480 pieces for $60 is like still not good but it's also not that much worse than any other LEGO theme right now. So I guess if you're looking for a LEGO City stunt set that's like a great value for your money, this would be a decent one to pick up. The main reason why I hesitate is just because, I don't know, what you get here is a little bit lame compared to some of the other sets. The minifigures especially, I feel like, are not the highlight of what the theme has to offer. Additionally, only one bike, and it's not even like any sort of exclusive bike or anything. Yeah, this one's a better price than some of the others, but still not a great price. So for what you get, is it even still worth it? I don't know. I think if you're a fan of LEGO City stunts and you maybe already have some of the smaller sets, this is a decent one to pick up because it gives you a nice obstacle and it is an okay value for your money but if you already have no interest in stunts in the first place you really don't have any reason to get this set it's nothing exceptional in my opinion it's just a very average city stunt set the only real reason to get it is because it's better priced than a lot of the others the funniest thing to me is how this thing has more pieces than the $100 set so yeah I mean I'm satisfied with this I guess but I don't know I'm just not super passionate about it but of course those are just my thoughts so let me know what you guys think of the set in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it make sure to give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and I think that's about all I have to say for this one. So thanks for watching everybody and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.